to do, things to see. Did you hear that? He's got people to do. That's off the record. Things to see. No, That's no, no, off the no, record. no, I think we should have a conversation about this. That's off the record. I think we should have a conversation about this. Do any of you actually joke with your significant other about, like, every time he talks to somebody at work, I'm like, oh, your girlfriend, da 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 da. Did you have fun talking to your girlfriend today or whatever? Like, but. And you and all your guy friends. Yeah, but like. We're not seriously like crazy, crazy jealous. Just a little jealous. With your hey, ex, with your, wanna, with your, I don't want to talk with, about with this. your ex, yes, I, don't I was about super this. jealous because he's still friends about, with his ex. I don't want to talk about this. But uh, other than that, I only tease him really about like. Look, one of those could be yours. He always acts different when a girl hits on him at work. <laughs> Babe, I this don't. is real. This is real life. Let's have a conversation. Let's have a conversation. Why not? It's fun. It's controversial. Um, whenever he comes home and he starts acting weird, I'm like, what happened? What happened? Who hit on you today? I know something happened. Tell me. Because he always acts weird. I can always tell. And so then he's like, fine. This is what happened. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, oh, okay. I don't really care. I just feel better knowing that he told me the truth because I know that something happened. So then I feel better after you tell me the story and then I'm like, oh, okay. You know, whatever, that's cool. Somebody hit on you. No one, for the record, no one hits on me. Yes, they do, all the time. Absolutely not. No one hits on me, but everybody hits on you. Bull People have hit on you in front of me. Only one person. <clears throat> Sorry if my gum is annoying you guys. It's really hard not to chew it when I have it in my mouth. I always try to sit with gum just in my mouth without chewing and I, I can't do it. Where'd you get gum from? Gum forever. Well, give it up. No, I always have gum in my bag. I want gum. Well, you have to wait a second. My hands are busy. My hands are busy. Anyway, so do you get jealous when, like, nobody hits on me? So there's nothing for you to be jealous of. I have that one guy at work. Okay. The other guy that I'm talking about. What other guy? The guy who worked at the trash place. The trash place? Yeah. Babe, that was years ago. Doesn't matter. That was years ago. It doesn't matter. There was this kid that worked at the trash dock who he only spoke Spanish, and all the guys there would tell me that he liked me, and he would always like smile at me and say hi to me and like try to be around me when I was down there dumping the trash. And then he kept his guys kept insisting he likes you, he likes you, he likes you. So I finally went on the computer and learned how to say in Spanish. I'm married with two kids. Like, sorry, I'm married with two kids. And and then I went to work and they kept bugging me about it. So I finally, I said it and then he looked at me, his face, I think I traumatized him. Like his face literally fell, like what? And I, in my mind, I'm thinking, hello, did you not ever look for the freaking ring? Like who doesn't look for a ring? I'm always wearing my ring. But, and I just thought that they were kind of joking the whole time, but I thought if I finally told them that, then they would stop messing with me. But his face just totally fell and he looked devastated when I told him I was married with kids. And then he was gone. The next day, gone. He left the property, did not work there anymore. And I didn't see him again for like two or three years. And then one day I go down there and he was there and I was like, oh, hi, I remember you. And he was like, he still didn't look happy. Like he was like, yeah. You have broken man's hearts. So, that was awkward. <laughs> That's like the only time, like forever. That was like a couple years ago. Anyway, that, my mom's getting tired. <laughs> speaking of heartbreak, um, the heartbreak and, I mean this, let me just say it. The heartbreak that the boys give me on occasion is far worse than any of the heartbreaks that a girl gave me by dumping me. What kind Does of that make sense? What kind of heartbreak? Like, well, this is years ago, but um, Gary and had an issue a long time ago, and we had to go to the hospital with him, and they put him in this machine. Remember, he had to lay under this machine. Yeah. And he was in there with his baby, his blanket. Yeah. He looks so vulnerable. And they had they had to do tests on him. Yeah, it was it was really scary. 
Gary used to wake up in the middle of the night and just projectile vomit for no reason, like every night. And we didn't know what was wrong with him, so we had to do all these tests on him. And they never found out what was wrong with him. It just eventually stopped happening. I don't know if it was his formula or what, but eventually it stopped. But yeah. I know what he means. I mean, you know, once you have kids, it's like they're your everything. So yeah. I get heartbroken. Like sometimes we'll. Sometimes we used to joke about like, oh, if we would get divorced or whatever, and then the kids would say, oh, I want to live with daddy, and that would break my heart. And I finally told them like, you know what, we're not joking about divorce anymore because it's not funny. And it well, really, that's our fault. Yeah, and it really, because we, we would do it, but then when the kids got old enough to start joining in, it wasn't funny anymore because then they would say, I want to live with daddy. And I'm like, wow. you. And I told them like, because we have like family, we'll have family dinners where we will go around the table and we'll say like, if anything's bothering us or if we've been thinking about something or we just like have family conversation you know and then when we he first started having us do that um i told him i was like it really hurts my feelings when you guys say that and i don't want to talk about like i don't ever want to joke about divorce anymore because it's not funny and i don't want that to happen to our family and like it well, it's making me emotional just thinking about it like, ship up then. yeah it really hurts my because. feelings anyway Abuse, abuse. Yeah, oh, see, and it's on tape now. You're supposed to go straight, babe. I thought it was uh, right on, on the street. No, warm, uh, no, this is the wrong street. You need to go straight. All right. Turn around. I know, I will. So anyway, I wanted to know if you guys joke with your spouses about people hitting on them or if you get really jealous or like jokes about divorce or if you guys do any of those weird things. I know we're kind of weird. But I'm just wondering. I'm just curious because I know that we're weird. Everybody at work always tells us that we're both really weird and that our relationship is weird. So <laughs> I'm just curious but, but if some, any of you do but that. But some of them as have well. adopted our, our practices. Ideas. Yeah, our practices. Yeah, well, let me put the we have a cop coming. Let me put my camera. All right, so go ahead. Well, you know, the guys at work, well, first of all, all they ever do is complain about their wives. Right. The majority of the time. And. So when I talk about you, you know, I discuss some of the things that we do. And one of the things that I used to speak a lot of and how I believed in it so much and I was so glad that we began doing it was sleeping in separate beds where you had your own bed and I had my own bed. Right. And everyone thought because it's so untraditional, untraditional or non, yeah. non-traditional mm -hmm. that they thought, you know, they immediately assumed, well, something's wrong. Yeah. You, you guys are getting divorced. Um, you guys are growing apart. And I said, no, I think, on the contrary, I think that it, it strengthens yeah, us, fast. you know, as a couple because sleep is so important. And, and why not have our own space? And I, yeah, our beds are next to each other. And so it's not like we have our own rooms, but, um, or then I, even I might think, well, maybe there's an issue there, but sleeping in separate beds, I think has been I'm like, Great. don't say that because I know people that sleep in separate rooms. <laughs> oh, well, okay. But see, so it's not necessarily true. So I'm, so I just did it. Yeah, you're assuming. Don't yeah. assume. Like everybody has a different relationship. Everybody has different needs. Um, like the people I know, the husband has really bad sleep apnea and snores really bad, and the wife has to sleep in a medical bed because she has a really bad back, oh, like me. Yeah. Yeah. And so they sleep in separate rooms, and well, they're still together. They've been together almost 20 years. Well. But um, there there are some you can't you have to admit there are some issues though. Yeah, but that's one relationship. <clears throat> but I'm saying there could be other people that don't have any issues that still do that because of physical or medical reasons. You can't assume. Well, I have a medical reason then. And so here's what I want to do. I want to put the boys back into one room. You don't have a medical. I'm reason. gonna get. You're not gonna get your own yeah. room. Get over yourself. You're not gonna get your own. Room. I bet you if I came in with the doctors now. Um, telling, no. telling you he has permission by a board of medical doctors yeah, sure. that he can have his own room. That's not going to happen. Are you rich all of a sudden? All of a sudden we're living in a mansion with five bedrooms? You can come over if you want. Yeah, I don't think so. Visit. He wants to be like Tim Burton and his wife where they both have separate apartments and they just come visit each other whenever, you know, once a day How great or, is or that? whatever. I think it works for them you know yeah. as long as they're happy I don't know how long they've been married but as long as they're happy probably a long time but I couldn't like I see no point in having an entire separate apartment like I if I didn't want you there I wouldn't be married to you like I want I want to be with you 
Yeah. Hence, like, oh, babe, where are you? I miss you. Come back. Like, hello. I haven't seen you. Like, I work 2 to 10. I work swing shift two days a week. And then I'm like, oh, my God, I miss you guys because I don't see them. Except I only see the kids in the morning before they go to school. And then I don't see anybody for the rest of the day. And if I don't run into him at work, because sometimes I don't see him when I'm at work, then I'm like, God, I f miss you. I haven't seen you in so long. Like, it's been two days. I think we could... <laughs> We could say it's it's almost a good thing because we do have every week an opportunity to miss each other. Right. Every single week. True. But most people, I think it would take longer than two days to miss their significant other. Like, I think that's one of the things that the guys think we're weird. We're weird because we always want to be together. And most guys don't. Like, his coworkers will say, oh, no, I don't want to early out because then I have to go home and my wife's there. And he's like, that's exactly why I want to go home because my wife is there. I want to be with my wife. And they're like, you're crazy, dude. So I'm like, these guys must all be married to the wrong people or something because it's so, that's really sad. They don't want to spend time with their spouse. Yeah. Really sad. So anyway, I think this conversation has gone on way too long. You guys probably think we're crazy by now. So we're heading to my doctor's appointment right now and we'll come back to you later. All right, so we're leaving the doctor's office and he put me back on antibiotics for two more weeks because I have a fistula that's been struggling to close for my Crohn's disease. And yeah, so I'm going back on that for two weeks. Other than that, that's all we did was just get a new prescription and now we're gonna go to Target and go shopping. I need to find, I don't even know if I should say because what if the boys see this? Don't say it. Yeah, we're gonna go shopping. It's Christmas time, we're gonna go shopping. And, um, I'm, I kind of think I want a new pair of jeans, so I might look and see at Target if they have any jeans that I like. What about you, darling? I will get a coffee. Of course, because there's a Starbucks at Target. I always feel silly holding the camera up like this because when cars go by, they can see me filming myself. Well, we live in the age where everyone's filming everyone, so it's, it's just... It's true, but I still feel like really weird doing and it. Pictures. I need to get a haircut. I really want to get a haircut. I wish I had time. I'm going to a concert with my parents tonight. I'm going to see Reba McIntyre and Brooks and Dunn. And I don't know what time they're picking me up yet. They haven't texted me back to tell me what time they're picking me up. It's 12 o'clock now, but we want to go shopping and stuff. And then I have a concert tonight, so I don't think I have time to go get my haircut. So I've been dying to get it done for months. It's driving me crazy. But one of these days I will get it done. But anyway. Hey guys, we spent two hours <laughs> walking around Target looking at stuff and other than food and like an ornament and some makeup, this is the only thing I bought for myself. I didn't end up buying pants or anything, but this is really cute. Oh. Bells ring. Are you listening? under our tree so we got all this stuff for the boys Christmas gifts and stuff I don't want to show that stuff because just in case my kids see my video I don't want them to see what they got so we did get some minions wrapping paper and then I'll show you the stuff that I can show which is it's taco night so we got some crispy tenders beans and they had sugar cookies on sale three for five dollars and you can veganize them. They don't have any uh, milk or anything in them as is. And then we got two taco shells. And then I found this really cute Grinch ornament, which I already have some Dr. Seuss ornaments and I uh, might have one already similar to this. I'm not sure, but I had to get it cause you know, me and Dr. Seuss. I got some more makeup primer and some tape for wrapping, candle lighter and some more hooks for our ornaments cause we always never seem to have enough. So yeah, that's my Target haul. You'll have to wait for Christmas to see what the boys got. <laughs> so don't forget to leave a comment down below all the little juicy details about you and your significant other. And 
that's it for today. I'm gonna go to the concert, so I'm not gonna be doing anything except we're gonna eat dinner with the kids, taco, it's taco Friday. And then I'm gonna go to the concert with my family, which I can't film, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching my little broccoli bites, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye! Luis just waved in the background over here with me. <laughs>